This is the grand trick. With the exception, of course, the memory wipe. But it's, it's that feeling that we are at home when we leave this body. And that, you know, the light, the tunnel, you know, the, the light is God. It, it's this, it's that. But remember, it's hitting us with a love bomb. And all, all of the stories that we hear through NDEs, and I'm not going to go down the whole list, but past life regressions, uh, deathbed visions, visitations, um, life between lives, pre-birth memories, on and on and on. DMT, uh, ayahuasca trip report, all the, uh, just breakthrough trip reports in general. All this stuff. On and on and on and on. People feel like they are at, quote-unquote, home. Okay? Home. That's an assumption. But that's a matrix narrative. I'm sorry. That's what we feel is home. It's the, it's the, it's the additional layer that is put out there to try and keep us contained within that matrix, within this whole thing. It, it, we give it credence and call it and label it things like home. It feels like home because A, the meat suit that we're in is the furthest thing from organic than we can get, okay? It's, it's, we're thrown into this and kind of like, like fighting ourselves. To just try and find us. To try and connect with the real us. The real you. On and on and on. And if we're lucky enough, maybe we'll just continue to ask questions long enough. Continue to search long enough. To find our true self. But then what happens? There's another layer. Ready and waiting to take advantage of us. And we give it credence. Think about how limited our perception is, or, 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 or our thinking is, just in general, about how we relate to the whole, you, let's just call it the, the multiverse, okay? Whatever you want to call it. Think about how limited it is that this, that the light, or that where we go after death is home. It feels like home again because of the limitations that are inherently thrusted upon us by having a body, by having a meat suit. Isn't it kind of just, just common sense wise, if there's this huge multiverse going on, just for the sake of argument, okay, because a lot of people believe in the multiverse, okay, different realms, all sorts of different things going on. Isn't it kind of like, just a little lowbrow to just assume that the light is God. To assume that the light has our best interest and that we're at home. But it has to use manipulative tactics like a love bomb. A love that we have never experienced here on Earth. Nothing can compare to it. Remember, we've talked about this thousands of times. Thousands, hundreds of times, probably saying how mothers compare that the love that they experienced with the birth of their child does not compare to the love that was experienced in when they went to the light with and had an NDE outside the body. If you can't compare that love, I mean, what if love doesn't exist? I'm 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 personally thinking. Uh, actually, I, I I know it inside me. Okay, and this is where I'm going to lose people. So let's just you know, it's all right. My opinion is is what if love is just like a frequency? It's just a frequency that is in relation to the whole matrix, the whole small universe. Not small, but let's just we're going to label it small because we don't know how big we're dealing with out there. So if we're just dealing with the love contained within this realm, what's outside of that? 
Who's to say love is even there? Who's to say hate is even there? Anger. Happiness. What if it's just us kind of being centered? We're just observing, experiencing, but not giving ourselves away to something like a memory wipe lifetime after lifetime. Think about that. If we're here to grow and learn, then why? Why do we not remember where we came from, why we are here, or where we are going? And I don't care how many past life regressions you've had. I don't care how many different experiences you've had. There's no way I don't believe anyone that comes here, unless they're in on it, actually knows their full background. We are all veiled to some extent. Yes, yeah, some people may remember a little bit more than others, but trust me, from my observation, and I've looked at a lot, it is extremely limited. It's limited. We have to think outside the box and say, what goes beyond everything that we're seeing right here? What is beyond that? And can we wrap our heads around this whole thing and say, maybe we deserve better? Right? I think we all deserve better. If something is calling, um, if something is claiming itself to be God and, is, and we keep coming down here with our memories wiped lifetime after lifetime, and we're supposed to learn and grow off that, it, it's, it's a huge disconnect there. The reality that's presented in the astral realms doesn't line up with what we're experiencing here. And that's just a fact. That's not, that's not negotiable. It just is what it is. And, when, and it's so easy for us to fall into these blinders that we think, hey, you know, love is great, right? It is. It's like the best damn thing here. And then you have nature. It's the second best thing. All right, companionship, all this, it's all great, great stuff. But it's limiting our perspective about what we may be able to experience, what we may be able to do. And it's all about transcending that entire thing in one foul swoop and taking control of us now and when we leave here. In saying, okay, remember, if I'm wrong, if any of us are wrong about all this, you can always come back, right? Or, I mean, you're not going to be able to come back? You're not going to be able to do your thing? I'm not coming back. I don't care what the hell the scenario is. I'm not coming back, period. It's just never happening again. But what's wrong with this way of thinking? What if I'm right? What if Wayne's right? What if Dan's right? What if the bulk of the people listening are right? What's wrong with standing up for yourself and seeing what happens? Nothing's wrong with that. Nothing. It's just you taking control of you for however long it takes, even though time doesn't exist, in doing your thing, in reevaluating you and your relation to everlasting existence. That's it. That's it.